We have a great group here called Arkansas Rising, and we're doing lots of exciting things. We're trying to raise awareness. We're doing uh, free direct action trainings. I don't know if you heard about the Valero 10 that shut down the Valero plant in Memphis for like an entire day. So this is a money government we live in now, and money talks. Divesting, I feel like I'm probably speaking to the choir, so most of you are probably all aware of all the, of the banks that are involved in this big uh, extraction of oil. That's unnecessary. This is Balkan oil. It's not helping anyone in the United States. It's only uh, criminalizing us. It's, con it's contaminating our water. It's explosive. It's, um, it's the big money trying to make the last big buck off of extraction that's going overseas. So the whole thing is built on criminal activity. They're using uh, this pipeline, the diamond pipeline, that's running all the way through Oklahoma, uh, Arkansas, and Tennessee. It's going through so many waterways. It's, it's, in, it's, and here we are in Fayette Hill, people who love to get on the river and love the outdoors. It's going to end soon if we don't stand up for our water. I really think about how we regard or care for our oil in this country is really going to determine whether we are alive in the future. Everything, er, spirit... I'm Lakota, but water has a spirit, and everything that depends on water has a spirit, and that's each one of us and every living organism. So I know there's the air, there's the earth, there's so many things to be concerned with today, but water is, is really core to my heart. And so uh, there's a lot of really scary things, again, happening uh, for our Native Americans at Standing Rock, and I don't know why. But it's frightening. Yeah. Oh no, they did. They did an invasion. Lovely. I know. Uh, Seventy-four people were arrested yesterday on territorial land. This is their native rights. I mean, it makes me sick in a country where we are always, you know. I mean, there are. These are the first inhabitants of this country. They were the first immigrants of this country, and they have been treated so wrongly for so long. And, and I just think. This has to be an indigenous movement first. If we're going to take back the America, I mean, if you're a real patriot, are you defending money or are you defending this planet? And that's real clear to me who the real patriots are. Anyway, Arkansas Rising, I've got some literature back on this table right back here. And um, we're also doing uh, free trainings on decolonization, which is the core of our minds that think we're trapped into this kind of government power because we're not constantly free our minds from that. So um, there's lots of levels to be involved. I would hope that we can get some involvement. We've got some really exciting exciting projects happening that can, because this pipeline, the diamond pipeline is so spread out, and the closest place, I mean, there are pipes on the ground in Fort Smith right now. That's the closest to us. But we're a really active group in northwest Arkansas, and I hope that we can. We've done five fundraisers. We've had several, many arrests. We have court hearings coming up, but our goal is to raise the awareness, the attention, and the passion of people to protect this natural.